Now the FBI goes in, they find documents that are attorney-client material, and what do they do? What is it they decide to do with the attorney-client material? Send it to a taint team inside the FBI rather than a special master that works with the judge to handle the pr- former president of the United States documents. That tells you why there is so much concern on this, Jordan. Is it the, why are the, is the FBI and Department of Justice not trying to at least be smart with the way they're handling this, but they're not. So they're, they're creating their own sense of frustration and tension. So it is the FBI running its own document uh, review over which documents they should even be reviewing and which they should be excluding. So you're going to trust this FBI to say, oh, you know, this was on Mueller, but, you know, we didn't have any uh, right to these documents, but we'll put that right over here It's more than in this that. section. And I, I think, again, what it's it shows you is uh, by the FBI not trying to put any safety guards in place here, all these documents can end up in Washington, D.C. at any moment, all over the place. They contain information covered by attorney-client privilege. Mm. This was President Trump's attorney-client privilege. Now, what would normally happen then is, once notified, you would then ask for a special master. A special master works with the judge, not with the Justice Department, to review these documents so that they're not used by the Department of Justice to engage in activities that can be problematic, like reviewing attorney-client information. But no, the Department of Justice says, no, we will set up a filter team. Let me tell you what a filter team is. We had, I mean, I had this with the, when we were doing the Mueller probe. And you remember this, Jordan. A filter team is the Department of Justice. You want me to go through the list of the FBI filing with the court a false email, changing the language of an email to get a FISA warrant on an American citizen? So all this just happens. It's just happenstance. And don't worry, Jordan, just trust the FBI. They'll handle it. The amount of outrage at this agency, the questions about their legitimacy, they deserve all of it, folks. They deserve every bit of your outrage and every bit of your questions and every bit of your questioning their legitimacy. As I said, when you're dealing with these agencies now, you assume the worst. Assume the worst if the IRS sends you a letter. Assume the worst if you get contacted by the FBI because the politics for has seeped into every part from the agent level on down the top to their to their leadership. And I get that people are defensive about the, the the line workers or the front line of the FBI, and I know that there's people who are doing good work there. I think they're few and far between now. I think they're the minority. The FBI makes mistakes. The church makes mistakes. People make mistakes. They screw up. Uh, should this be any reason uh, for Americans not trust that what the FBI and the DOJ are doing now is in pursuit of protecting classified documents. Well, Joe, absolutely the American public should trust what the FBI is doing. This is coming from Peter Strzok. I mean, think about this for a moment. Who Bob Mueller had to get off his team. This is the FBI that had a lawyer submit a false document to a FISA court to get a FISA warrant. And that's who MSNBC, by the way, has as their expert. I mean, you, you want to think you're living in a parallel universe here. And there's something else going on that we're missing. Here's what we're not missing. They are not, uh, first of all, I think the whole search warrant was ridiculous in the nature of what I know. Now, I don't know everything. So, you know, I, I mean, I know what I'm reading. But just my experience in dealing with the Department of Justice for, say, intensely for the last, you know, during a four-year period when I was representing the former president, Here's what I don't understand. Why would they not, not want to hold themselves above reproach so they don't get caught again with their hands in the cookie jar? But instead, Jordan, they do the exact opposite. That's what's so frustrating here. 